morning, Amber Inkers. Today I'm going to teach you how to take a set of stamps or several stamps you have that you'd like to see together and digitally composite them in Photoshop to make one complete scene. So um, it's really exciting and you're going to know how to do it by the time this tutorial is over. Today we're going to be using our Amber Ink More to Love Girls Night In set. Um, this is what the set looks like. It comes with 12 stamps and that includes um, our main figure, who will be featured front and center today. So this is what we're aiming for, but it's not where we are yet. To start, well, I'm going to just close this. Um, to start, you're going to say File, Open. You're going to navigate to your More to Love TIFF. You're going to hit, click on the very first one in the, the collection. You're going to hold the Shift key down and click on the last one in the collection. And then you're going to click Open. And they're just going to magically appear before you in Photoshop, just like that. Um, and then once they're all open, you're going to open a new document. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So you're going to go File, New. You're going to make sure this is set to US Paper so you have a large space to work on. And click OK. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to position this someplace that's easy for you to get to, where you can still see your stamps underneath. And you're going to just start by clicking on a stamp. Make sure that V as in Victor is the tool you've selected. That's the move tool. And you're just going to click and drag and then close the stamp. Click and drag and close the stamp. Click. You'll see that the stage gets highlighted black. And then you just let go. And that puts that right on the stage. So you're going to do that for all these stamps, and then you're going to meet me on the other side. Okay, so now you've dragged them all onto your main stage, and you have something that looks like this. I've separated the girl so that she's a bit further off to the side, and then all of her stuff is up here in the corner. And um, I'm going to teach you a trick that you're going to be using a lot today, and probably every day of your digital stamping life, now that you'll know it. Click Control on your keyboard, and then use your move tool to click on a stamp, it's going to automatically take you to that layer so you don't have to spend a lot of time pushing and prodding for it. Um, what we're going to do though is we're going to click control on our keyboard, we're going to click on our girl, we're going to name this layer girl, and then we're going to right click on the eye and scroll down and choose a color. So that way we always know what layer our girl's on. We're going to grab her in the layer bar and drag her all the way down to the bottom. Now we're going to click Z as in zoom on our keyboard, and we're going to zoom in so we get a better look at what we're working with. And now um, we're going to use that technique. We're going to click Z as in Victor on our keyboard, so we're on our move tool, and then we're going to find a spot for her to sit. I'm going to use this little ottoman, but you can use any of the pillows, obviously. I'm going to drag it to the spot I want it, right underneath her bum, and then I'm going to move it in the layers bar so it's physically underneath her. Then I'm going to click Control T as in Tom on my keyboard, and I'm going to change this. This is width and this is height. On any digi stamp that you transform by clicking Control T, that's your transform um, tool, you're going to make sure that they match. So I'm going to make this 160%, and I'm going to click this little link key, and that will automatically make it so the width and height match. Once I'm happy with the size, I just click Enter on my keyboard. And maybe I have to do it twice. And then I just position it. I think that's good. You're going to do that with each stamp that you want to use. So control on your keyboard, click on the stamp, drag it to the position you'd like, move it physically behind the girl in your layers bar, control T, change it to the size you'd like, 150%. I'm going to try. It's pretty big. But we like big pillows. And then I'm just going to move that. I'm going to want it under the ottoman, so I'm going to put it in the very back, next to the background. And then I actually want to change it, so I'm going to click Control T, go out to a corner, wait till my boomerang little curve arrows appear, and then just click and twist. And that will allow me to move the direction it's facing. I'm going to do that with everything, so Control T, I mean Control click, uh, grab that pillow, I'm going to try it down here. Is it underneath our girl? I like that. This pillow control click, drag, 
Um, actually, I'm going to try that over here. Kind of just it's a small of your back, maybe. Control click drag. That looks cute. Um, control click. I really like this pillow because it shows the inside of the pillow and it's great for some digital paper piecing. Um, I want that bigger. Control T is in Tom. 160. Click that link. And I'm going to control T, boomerang arrow, and switch the orientation of it. Control click. I've got that round pillow. I'm going to put it here. Drag it underneath my girl. This space looks really bare, so now I'm going to teach you a new trick. Control click on a pillow you would like to twinsy. Um, you want to leave this one where it is, but maybe you want to use it again. Click the ALT button on your keyboard. It's going to give you a black and white overlap arrow. Click and drag, and you'll automatically recreate that pillow in a new layer. So now I'm going to control T. I'm going to change the size of it so it's a lot smaller, 60% um, or 70%. I'm going to click my link arrow. And now this has automatically become a pillow that's the same collection, but not the same pillow. I'm going to change the orientation of it by control T boomerang arrow twist and I'm going to put it here um, and I'd actually like this pillow again so I'm going to control click on the ottoman out um, that will give me my two little arrows click drag control T change the size make it an itty bitty and I'm going to actually put it up here now, it's behind things I don't want it to be behind, so I'm going to drag it up so it's just barely, barely behind the girl. And actually, it's looking a little too symmetrical for me, so maybe I'm going to put it down here. A little mini one. Uh, I'm going to move her perfume. I'm going to give her easy access to this delicious looking martini. Um, control click on her mask. I'd like it facing the other direction, so control T, twist. Mm, maybe there. Control T, twist. Uh, control, click on the black part of any scene so that you can easily move it. Um, otherwise, it's going to think you're clicking on nothing because it's transparent. Um, position it where you'd like it. Control, click. Give her that nail polish right there. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it's better to color. Uh, click on the link. Oh, it's a lot bigger. It's a nice bottle of nail polish. Um, and I actually want that stain to go right there. Um, all you have to do now is Control S. Make sure that you save it as a Photoshop Girls Night in PSD. And uh, you're good to go. You've learned how to make your own scene in Photoshop. How awesome are you? Um, Anyway, you can use this with any digi stamps you want. It's a great technique. And thank you for amber inking.